What do you wish for, Cecil? I'm not gonna tell you. And you said I could get anything I want? I, I think so. Um, yeah, I, you know, <laughs> there's something I really want, too. Yeah, cool. <sighs> Cecil, I am the god of this realm, and I can give you the power to make your innermost dream come true. Cool. Will you gamble your life to achieve your innermost dream? Uh, <laughs> sure. I will roll the dice. If they are odd, you achieve your dream. But if they are even, you die. What is your dream, Cecil? Well, hmm. I have this basketball game tomorrow. And the other team is better than we are. Okay, and the wish part. Well, so I guess what I'm saying is that oh, I would really like to win the game. And, and that's your innermost dream. Because I, I, I said, any desire, any innermost dream, your innermost dream is to win a basketball game tomorrow. Yeah, it's a really important game and it would be awesome to take home the trophy. You, you know what, okay. Oh. Oh, fuck. Yes, awesome, thank you. Cool. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god. I'm so glad you're okay. Did you go through with it? I did. Oh my god. Promise you'll never do that again, okay? You fool. You just. Um, yeah, um, I. Uh, sorry. I gotta go now. Okay. Um, I'll see you at the basketball game. It's awesome that Richie Thompson died suddenly and painfully, or else he would have given us a really hard time. Yeah, that was a nice layup though, Cecil. Wow. It actually worked. I'm the only person in the world who knows about the cave besides Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin? Why are you looking at me so weird? I want to get these guys. Come on, let's celebrate. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, we did it, dude. We did it. Fuck you, Jason, saying that I wouldn't survive in a zombie apocalypse. I'd be great surviving a zombie apocalypse. Hey, maybe that's what I'll wish for. I'd spice things up a little bit. Caitlin would be a goner for sure. No, I got I have to stop thinking about this cave. It's gonna drive me crazy. It's dangerous to wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is my remote? Hi, Caitlin. Mm -hmm. How's your day going? Uh-huh. Well, look, I have an emergency. Yeah. It's pretty serious. Mm. I lost my remote. What the fuck do you mean? Of course that's an emergency. You fucking stupid. I lost my remote and I want it back. You know I didn't mean that. You know I never mean to make you cry. Come on, Caitlin. I'm, I just want to make you strong. 
You're so strong. Okay. No, it's okay. I forgive you. Mm-hmm. I'll see you soon. Hello? Oh. Welcome back, Cecil. I am the deity of this realm. I can give you your innermost dream. Listen, what do you want? Listen, I lost my remote. It's under the couch. Are you sure? Because I looked there earlier and it wasn't... Look harder! It's under the couch! Alright. Thank you. Well, found my remote. Turns out it was in the couch cushions the whole time. Please, Cecil, never come back here. I mean, I don't know what I would do with myself if you would die. I mean, it's just because I... Hey, um, I... Shh. Listen, if I had to look for my remote... It probably would have taken me like a somewhat long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But here I got it instantly. Look, <clears throat> Caitlin, the point is, is that this cave, mm -hmm. it can give me anything I want. Like way more than anything else in life could offer me. So don't try to stop me. Nope. Don't try. Nope. Bye. This year's prom king is Cecil. Let's take a moment of silence for all the other contendants that died suddenly and painfully. I keep getting what I want over and over again, and yet somehow it keeps becoming less exciting. I mean, am I even the type of person that should get what they want? I, I don't know which path to take ahead, but I guess for now, I'll just, I'll just keep going. And I have worked so hard to get here. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom! Cecil's in the room. back here. I mean, your friends and family are worried. I'm worried. You can't keep risking your life on insignificant things. Actually, I can risk my life on anything that I want. My body, my choice. <sighs> Instead of risking your life, I was hoping that we can make them come true together. I've really messed up. I mean, she's been there with me through everything, and I haven't even once thought about what she would want. I need to do better. Are you still talking? Yeah. Um, Jesus Christ, Caitlin. God, your voice is... No. I'm going to wish for you to shut up forever. That is what I'm going to wish for this time. Cecil! Cecil, Cecil, Cecil's back. Cecil's back. Why? Why are you here? 
I have to do this every time you walk in. It's a miracle you haven't died yet. Why do you keep coming? Don't do that. Because. I'm content to keep risking my life for something to live for. It is not enough to have something to live for. It should be something to die for. Maybe Grandpa's right. But what do I have that's worth dying for? Now you're getting it. If you're dedicated to living for yourself, you will have nothing when you die. Shut up! I know! All this time, I've just been wishing for stuff that's awesome but selfish and it's only benefited me i know what i want to wish for i want to feel about caitlin the way she feels about me i mean after all i've put her through and that's the least she deserves